In this demonstration, we're going to show how you can guide the assembly of the parts you've defined in Sim Mechanics. We're working with the model of a scissor jack. At the start of the simulation, we know how far apart the legs of the X should be. However, we don't know this angle. All we care about is that the scissor jack assembles like this, and not like this. In order to make sure the scissor jack assembles properly, we're going to specify target values for the states that we know and indicate if we know these values to be exact or approximate. In sim mechanics, you can specify target values for the position and velocities in the joints. You can also indicate if you know this value approximately or exactly. Sim mechanics will assemble the mechanism and provide a report letting you know if it was able to meet the targets that you specified. I'll now switch over to the model so that you can see how this is done. Here is the model that we're working with. It's a model of a single stage scissor jack. If I update the diagram, we'll see in the Mechanics Explorer the three-dimensional representation of our system. We can see that it consists of a number of parts that we've defined, the shafts, the links, and so on. We've not specified any initial conditions for the joints, so they have assembled all with a value of zero. However, I know at the start of simulation, I know the distance that I would like to specify between these two supports. So what I'm going to do is go into this joint, go to state targets, and specify that I want at assembly time the, the displacement of this joint to be 2.3 meters. Now I know roughly that I want the scissor jack to assemble in a state where the platform is above the ground. So to guide the assembly I'm going to go into the state target for this revolute joint and specify that I'm going to give it a positive angle and say that this is an approximate target. I don't really know this value, but this is my best guess. Use this when assembling the mechanism. When I update the diagram, we'll see that the mechanism assembles properly. We can see that the platform is above the ground, and it looks okay. What I want to do is to verify how, how well it assembled. I can go to the model report, and this will show me exactly how it assembled. So we can see the two targets that I specified. 2.3 meters as a high priority target and 5 degrees as a low priority target. We can see my high priority target was met exactly. And that's indicated by the status. My, my angle target was again a guess. I didn't really know what that value would be. But Sim Mechanics used that guess to figure out how to assemble the mechanism. And it indicated that it was not able to meet this low priority target. If I wanted the mechanism to assemble differently, for example, to have the platform pushed down, I could go back to this state target and enter a guess as minus 5. Now when I update the diagram, we'll see that the mechanism assembles differently. Uh, the platform is now below the ground. If I I, if, I, my, if the targets that I knew were the other way around, if I knew that the angle was a high priority target, then I could go into here change this to 5 and set this to be a high priority target and then go back to my prismatic joint and set this to be a low priority target. Now when I update the diagram it will assemble according to these targets that I've specified. So we can see this angle is much shallower now so the assembly is different and if we look at the model report we can see that my high priority target of 5 degrees was met exactly and my low priority target of 2.3 meters was met approximately. So in this demonstration you've been able to see how we can use state targets to guide the assembly of our mechanism.